Hey guys, this is Justin back with an engineer's perspective. Today I'm going to do a little bit uh, on uh, a video on an LC200N. Uh, some use on both of these after a while. This one here is a uh, Native 5 Salt in LC200N. I writ dyed these to a, a cherry red because that's all I had and it kind of turned out pink, so not ideal, but certainly looks tropical right so whatever mxg deep carry pocket clip this is one of my most carried knives right now um yeah i've after i did all that testing on m390 i got a little bit more of an appreciation for the working edge and lc200n actually develops a decent working edge this stuff is at 59 rockwell or so and it has a roughly 4.5% um, chromium nitrides, maybe a little bit more than that, I'm guessing by the softer heat treat than what Laren tested, but roughly that. And uh, after about, so I sharpened this on the KME, 18 degrees per side, up to 1500 grit diamonds, and then I believe it was 4 micron, then 1 micron CB and then diamond, or just straight to 1 micron diamond. And I got a very, you know, hair whittly edge off of that. But right now, after three weeks of real use, it's got a decent working edge on it. You know, it's not biting into my fingernail, but there's enough there to scrape. And you can feel the teeth. It feels pretty nice for a working edge. And I know it'll strop back great. And maybe we'll show that. Let's do that. What the heck? But really great stuff. Like I said, I've been using it a lot, I've been traveling a lot. I like to bring this when I travel just because it's very replaceable for me and it's not too terribly expensive. Love the native um, platform, I guess, that design. So, been really a great knife. Um, I brought it to the lake and I was there for about a week. Swam in the lake with it in my back pocket multiple times. Didn't take any specific care of it. No rust on the hardware, the back lock. The blade down uh, in there. So granted, the lake isn't the ocean, but you know, it's not taking care of it really. So that's still pretty impressive. So there's that one. And here I've got the waterway, which is a little wet. Um, as kind of a, a test of it, not that it's a harsh test. Um, I've actually been keeping this one in my shower and I've mentioned that in videos before, the review in it, I've mentioned it. And uh, now it's been in there for just like months. And I take, that's where I store it. I take it out to use it for things and bring it places when I need to, but that's where I store it. So it just sits wet 100% of the time for months and months and months and months and months. I believe the last sharpening I did on this was, it was with the Chosera 800 and 3K, probably stropped on one micron, uh, gunny juice. I believe this edge is probably 17-ish degrees per side or so. And uh, so, and this hasn't been used a whole lot. Honestly, what it generally gets used for, I broke down one chicken with it for giggles. It wasn't great. And then I um, used it to, you know, like open up or cut open uh, like shampoo bottles to get the last little bit out, stuff like that. Uh, shaving hair just to see if it still does it. But uh, anyways, I wanted to show a best test on this. Um, one thing to note is I ran out of my original test media that came with this. So I've had to buy this new stuff here and it's, it's different than the old stuff. So it should get the same scores because it's, you know, best certified. But Jesus, is this stuff slippery. Cannot get a good grip on it to get it tensioned properly. And when I first received this, um, it comes with it pre-tensioned and I stuck my finger on there to feel it. And that's kind of what I go off of now, but I cannot get that tension um, uh, just with my bare fingers anymore because it's so slippery. So the Gerber dime is what I've been leaving out here <laughs> to, to get it, to grab onto that and tension it to what it should feel like. Okay, I think you can see that. We'll start with the, the waterway here. 
All right. Let's give this a shot. This is really hard to tell if I'm straight up and down. One forty five. That's higher than I thought it would be. I'll tell you what, the edge that's on there is certainly very sharp and very fine. A little too much information. I used it when I was in the shower to shave off some chest hair the other day. So, you know, you're like wet and soggy, you know, shave hair. That's pretty impressive. All right. I'm just going to kind of reach over here. So forgive the shadows to make sure I got this thing straight. There you go, that's better. 110, I had this thing cockeyed. 110, we're gonna do one more for good measure here. I'm sure it's fun watching best tests. Got all the best tests in the test media from sharpeningsupplies.com. Not sponsored by them or anything, but you know, they seem like a pretty decent group. They're not the first place I order from, but a decent group of guys and gals. All right, let's get one more on this. One fifteen. So that's that's what it should be. So I got the first score I got was a one hundred, then a, uh, that one ten and one fifteen. So call it one hundred nine average or so. So after months and months and months and Okay, just the two months uh, of sitting in the shower after being sharpened. Um, you know, there's corrosion on the edge. Well, there's chromium oxide on the edge. That's what it went up to. According to Edge Grinders, um, if you see their YouTube channel, then there's things I can take or leave. But I bought the book and I read it. The um, formation of the chrome oxide layer will raise your best score by about 20, 20 bass or so. Excuse me. So, there you go. And then for giggles, we'll do half micron. Let's see if we can remove that chrome oxide layer here. I don't want to form, I don't want to draw out a little bit of a burr or anything when I'm doing this. All right, so let's see what happens when we remove that chrome oxide layer, if we've removed it, just to kind of prove that point or disprove it. We're experimenting here. But the point, the point of what I just showed is that even after having the opportunity to be in a slightly corrosive environment for a long time, is it will still hold a decent edge. It was sub 100 after sharpening, so... Uh, everything looks about right, so I'm going to pop this in one more time. Let's see what we did. Yep, exactly. So after you remove that chrome oxide layer that forms to prevent corrosion, it goes up about 20 best. So I stropped it three times per side on half micron CBN from Ken Schwartz on uh, balsa wood. <laughs> Removes that chrome oxide and down to 95 best. So there you go. So that's that's not using it a lot, mostly just sitting in water. Now let's look at one that's been used a lot, a lot on everything from food, cardboard, uh, anything. Oops, grabbed a little too much there. I wasn't paying attention. Up. All right. Let me just kind of wipe this off a little bit better. It's don't want any like residue, tape residue or anything on the edge. Okay. Oops, that's questionable. One seventy-five. 
came in a little hot there. That's the thing with the best test is you really got to make sure you get an average score because it can be a teeny bit finicky. There you go. And maybe when I tested it before, it was gunked up. I'm ex I was expecting a higher score than that. It feels higher than that, I can tell you that much. On my fingertips. Go 235. Mm -hmm. Not going to call this a review of the dime because I don't like the dime, but uh, it is fine enough to grab this stuff, so take that for what it's worth. All right. There you go. So a 235 and a 240. So I'll call it a 240 edge after three weeks of carry on LC200N. I think that's really impressive that it was able to resist abrasion that well and hold up. You know, little to no blunting. There's a little blunt spot right where my fingernail is pointing there, but that's really impressive, I think. So LC200N is really becoming something I've been enjoying, even though it's not, doesn't have the things that I like about steel, you know, being super hard or super hard or super high carbide, you know, with vanadium carbide or anything. So it doesn't have any of that going on, but... You know, what it does, it does really well, which is be very stainless and uh, maintenance-free. And part of being maintenance-free is keeping an, an edge that's worthwhile. So it does a great job of that. I've been really happy with it. And, you know, see both of those tests. You know, one that has a lot of use on it, one that has a lot of time and water, they, they hold a good edge. So really like LC200N. Just kind of wanted to show what you get after some usage and time on them. So that's all I've got. So really poorly sliced paper you know, with the grain is always easier. So that's where it's at. It's pretty, pretty raggedy working edge. So that's all I got. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.